Hey, it's Michael here. I'm outside walking on a nice sunny day. It's a Wednesday here in Vancouver, Washington, and I wanted to make this video about the costs of running an online business. Okay, so keyword business. Uh, it takes money to make money. I'm sure you've heard that saying, right? You gotta pay to play. All those different ways of using words, whatever the saying is, it all converges into one logical thing. Your business will cost money. But what are those expenses? How much will it cost me? What is it? How much is it to start as a beginner, intermediate, and as an expert? Okay, so I'm going to answer those questions right now. So first of all, it depends on the type of business model you go into. Uh, so I'm going to start off with one of my favorites, my number one recommended, and that is affiliate marketing. Now, this is where you can promote other people's products and services without having to own your own. Uh, you don't have to hold inventory, fulfill on customer support, be this techie person. Um, and so it depends on many factors like where are you what platform are you selecting so when i say that that means there are many different promotion or methods uh, you can start off with a blog you have a youtube channel uh, you can start off with facebook instagram podcasts it goes in so many different routes me personally i started with a blog and so the costs of starting a blog won't go so in depth because i have content on that i'll make sure to leave it down below is the cost of a domain the URL, right, that people are gonna visit, the like little certificates that come with it, the HTTPS, the SSL certificate, that's the HTTPS, um, security, uh, blockers, prevention, stuff like that can be added. Uh, but then you also have the hosting, that's number two. Domain and hosting, those are two things. And so the hosting alone can be, uh, it can cost you some, uh, some some even like you know 13 or so for the first month and then it could be as much as a hundred dollars after a year per year um, and sometimes you get hosting that is for like thirty dollars per month um, it all depends on the provider I'll have material on that if you want to know more about domains and hosting with blogs websites stuff like that that's where I got my first start um, so that's the you are the domain can be 11 to 13 plus dollars or so around that range so you're looking at almost about 26 30 or so dollars from those two things and then crossing the street here and then let's see you have to okay so that comes with wordpress your hosting provider usually has wordpress installed you can do it from the back office the domain the hosting you have that um, sometimes a keyword research tool you can get them for free but it might cost you over time if you get one, um, I highly recommend you go the paid route in time. You can start off free. Um, a lot of them give you free trials, but that could be another additional 19 to 100 plus, depending on what keyword service you're using. So we're kind of estimating at about 26, uh, 50 or so dollars there. If we're adding the cost of a host, a domain, keyword tool. And those are three big ones that you need really for the blogging side of things. Um, and then like an affiliate program or an affiliate course training. Um, and this is the question you might be asking is, do I need to pay for a course? And that's a question that's very common. And what I tell people is you can get started for free, but there is no uh, premiere end result with free, right? If you are consuming YouTube content, going through blog posts, social media, Maybe you've already seen this, but you always get A and Z content. You don't normally get A through Z, right? You want everything in between, like a timeline of events, right? Say you were in class, you were learning about history, um, or you were putting a mathematical timeline. You want to know everything in between. And a lot of the time you're consuming content, it's not going to give you it all. So there's a time and a place for purchasing a course. And it depends on which one you purchase, but there's some you can get in for free for a certain amount of modules. If you want to know that, I'll leave information for that down below where you can get started for free. There's some that you might just want to go ahead and pay up front, which is still great. But again, you got to do your research. Um, so free, $19 there, maybe $49 a month, uh, $356 plus plan per year. 
or it can be, um, you know, depending on the course, it could be $997 plus, even higher to, uh, usually the more higher the cost of the course, the better the experience, the better um, results, the better everything you're gonna get. Usually that's what it means. Again, you gotta do research. I'll leave uh, the courses and all that information down below so you can see which ones are best. Now that's for kind of affiliate marketing. You have YouTube as well. You can use extensions. Um, Facebook maybe a little course on how to use Facebook marketing and stuff like that so we're gonna kind of go in around like 50 to 60 dollars or so on all that um, plus the additional the courses um, and then you have YouTube right social media so there's gonna be expenses involved it's best to get started as soon as possible coming into terms with that now we have like something like digital agency and that's another business model that I'm in this is where you can help business owners get more leads into their business, more customers, right? Help them um, get those leads, maybe help them with their sales process because a lot of business owners do not have that. They understand, we understand how to get them the clicks, but post-click is the sales process. So digital agency, that might be a course you get involved with. Um, you're thinking about buying, getting a website again, hosting a domain, um, running ads for people. You got to budget that, maybe $100. Uh, for every two weeks or so. So we're talking about over a hundred already. We're doing digital agency. Um, if you're doing the paid routes, Facebook ads, stuff like that. If we're doing more like free organic, reaching out to people, helping your clients get clients by or customers through free organic search results, the cost will vary. But again, you gotta keep in a factor like affiliate marketing. The course costs can go up. You have a website and domain you wanna have for authority. Um, bad budget for ads and expenses like that, sales funnel tools, you might be able to run, um, depending on the tool it is, $100 uh, and or less. Uh, so yeah, close to 100 plus to get started and additional costs with the course. It can go even higher, which is fine. Um, you have stuff like digital product creation, like courses, you're learning about how to create a course, depending on that, training, again, uh, you might need a website domain, a membership type of course with domain and hosting for it. So you're looking at those additional costs. E-commerce, all these other things you need to run a store. Shopify can cost you somewhat of $40 a month or so, even higher expenses, um, with premium services. And that's that's just that, okay? I know there's a lot more business models, but I won't get into them all. I know there's like network marketing and so many more. Um, but you're looking at around the same price. We just went over the costs of if you run a blog or a website, domain and hosting. You have different channels like YouTube tools you would use, social media tools. It might be costing you a little bit, some training. And that is that. And some courses in all these areas can go up to like, uh, they have different plans. But you can start out free for some, $19, $20. A whole year's worth of 359 or something, uh, 997, um, 1,009 something, uh, 2,500 plus, even like a one time payment. So it will come with some costs in your business, but just know that it's in the best interest for you. And that's everything I have for this video. Thank you for listening. Look down below in the description to get started with any of those business models that you're interested in. All the extra resources will have more numbers for you, more data. But do that and get forward in your business. Don't waste any time, period. Okay. And oh, uh, when I first got started, I remember wasting a lot of my time and going through and seeing what would cost, what wouldn't cost. And I just ended up wasting more time trying to do everything for free. Um, and I got really frustrated. And fortunately enough for me, I went back to like Google, did my research and understood that I followed a proven path from somebody who was showing me how to do things. And from there on out, things started to turn. All right. That's everything that I have for you. Keep looking out for my content. We're going to learn more about me if you haven't already. And that is that. Thank you. Bye.